originally called Camp Bupriten, the Sublime Prison and Penal Farm in Occidental Mindoro, was created under Proclamation No. 72 on September 26, 1954, during the administration of the late President Ramon Magsaysay. It has a total land area of 16,190 hectares. Itong kolonya ito ay nag-establish formally noong January 15, 1955. Na araw na yun na nag-set put dito ang uh, pitong uh, opisyales ng uh, Bureau of Prisons at 68 inmates galing sa Iwaig Prison and Penal Farm at isang inmate galing sa New Bilibid Prison. At ito ay pin uh, pinanguna ni uh, Superintendent uh, Candido El Baguisan at, uh, at ang, ang sponsor director of prisons noon na si Alfredo M. Bunye. The opening of the new colony marked the gigantic task accompanied by complex problems and circumstances and lack of funds. Everything was needed to be gained from scratch. That day, uh, January 15, started their uh, task, gigantic task, uh, to establish this uh, supply and prison in Penal Farm. The Iwahig Penal Colony personnel designated as the first contingent of officers and employees were as follows. Candido L. Bagawisan, Acting Superintendent. Dr. Severo M. Racadio, Medical Officer. Lorenzo E. Esperanza, RN, Nurse. Ramon B. Dalugdug, Property Officer. Magno Castillo, Security Officer. Manuel G. Ignes, construction engineer. On the spot where the new administration building stands now, Dr. Alfredo M. Bunye, the then director of prisons, triumphantly proclaimed the opening of the new colony, sanctified by a mass offered and said by Monsignor Gregorio L. Espiga, Apostolic Prefect of Palawan, assisted by Fathers Bernardo and Centeno. Today, the monumental marker which carries their names engraved in bronze proudly stands as a tribute to these officers, employees and prisoners who valiantly risk their lives in the call of duty and the needs of a time. From the vast area of wilderness, the place where the sublime prison and penal farm is located today was dramatically converted into a friendly and accommodating rehabilitation area fully equipped with modern physical facilities. Ang Sublime Prison and Penal Farm is an open institution, one of the seven penal institutions in the Bureau of Correction of the whole Philippines. The so Sublime Prison and Penal Farm is a unique institution dahil uh, it is very rich in the biodiversity. Maraming samutsaring buhay ilang, mga halaman at mga hayop sa pagubatan. Nadito lamang matagpuan sa Sablayan Occidental Mindoro. Uh, ako po si Mr. Sabadusto ay isang chairman ng IBAMS Important Biodiversity Monitoring System na tumutulong upang ma-evaluate at mapangalagaan ang samasaring buhay at lalo na ang kanilang tirahan ang kagubatan ng Sablayan Prison ng Pina Farm. Almost uh, 5,000 lowland forests, the biggest uh, lowland forest in the whole island of uh, Mindoro. Ang mga distinctive quality na mga na itong penal farm na wala sa ibang operating prison in penal farm ay ang water supplies. Mayroon na kaming bagong water supplies, rice and corn production, ang aming conference room na bago, ang aming hospital ay uh, napakabago, napakaganda. Actually, ang may pagmamalaki ng, uh, nito sa mga ating mga turista, both local at saka po yung ating foreign, eh, foreign uh, tourists ay ang uh, unang-una ang kaganda ng lugar, uh, specifically yung ating uh, kabundukan ng Siburan na kung saan ay makikita ang intact vegetation nito at ang higit sa lahat yung Libaw Lake. Makikita nyo nito yung aming mga, mga pananim, na ang pawang gumagawa niya na yung ating mga bilanggo. The institution primarily aims not only at enhancing the aspects, but also teaching the prisoners to develop their skills in order to become self-sufficient and productive citizens with positive attitude and an outlook in life. 
The mandate of Supply and Prison and Penal Farm are the following. Security and uh, rehabilitation. Security meaning to prevent crime and segregation from the society. While rehabilitation is providing them with programs to improve their uh, skills like agricultural, industrial, and others. Anim pong mga reformation programs ang pinairal po natin dito para sa pagbabago ng ating mga bilanggo. Una po yung tinatawag na uh, education uh, program na kung saan dito po sa kolonyang ito, meron po tayong formal na education na uh, grade 1 hanggang grade 4. At meron din po tayong tinatawag na ALS na pinairal po natin maliban po sa mga pagtuturo ng TESTA sa iba mga larangan. Pangalawa po na reformation program na ito ay ang tinatawag na religious and moral program. Dito po, malaya po ang ating mga bilanggo na umanib or uh, mag-exercise ng kanilang religious affiliation. Maraming po tayong mga civilian volunteer, religious volunteers na pupunta rito para gabayan po sila sa religious freedom nila. Pangatlo po ay ang tinatawag na behavioral modification program. Ito po ay tumatalakay po rito sa mga pagbabago po ng behavior nila, lalo po yung mga drug dependent. Na kung saan meron po tayo programa rito yung therapeutic community. Iyan po ay may kukumpara sa isang rehabilitation center sa labas. Uh, Pang-apat pong uh, rehabilitation program ay ang tinatawag na uh, livelihood program. Tinuturan po natin ang unang-una sa lahat na magsaka ang ating mga, mga bilanggo. Kung mahilig ka sa lupa, magsaka ka. Kung mahilig ka sa mga bagay na pag may mekaniko, meron din po tayo dyan. Tinuturan din po sila ng mga gawain, mga iba-ibang mga souvenir products na may pagmamalaki natin sa, sa labas. Dito po ay inuhubog po sila. Nang sa ganun, ay sa kanilang paglaya ay magamit po nila ito sa kanilang pagpapa, uh, pagbabagong buhay. Pang lima po ay ang ating uh, uh, at sports and recreation activities. Tinuturon din po natin sila na mag-engage sa mga different kinds of uh, sports and recreation activities. Nang sa ganun, maging malusog sila. Habang sila ay uh, pansamantalang nuniran dito, mabigay ang kanilang uh, kahiligan sa anumang bagay na larangan ng sports or uh, sa mga recreational activities na dapat nilang gawin para hindi sila maging idol. At the same, at the same time, pinakalas po yung tinatawag namin na uh, health, health and welfare na kung saan tinututuan po natin ang kanilang magandang kalusugan. At uh, magkas, maging kasanayan nila yan na sa ganun, eh, maging maganda ang kanilang mga inarap. Yan lang po ang mga anim na rehabilitation programs na pinahiril po dito sa atin dito sa Blind Prison Penal Farm. Isang modelong prison po ito sapagkat uh, dito po na-exercise po lahat itong mga program, programa na ito na pinatutupad ng ating uh, kawanian ng bilangguan. The Sublime Prison and Penal Farm is divided into three sub-prisons. The Pasugi Sub-Farm, established on December 18, 1957. In 1972, Pasugi Sub-Farm was intended for political prisoners. It has been the management of different OICs named Libomang Hag, Kagata, Luis Abarquez, Tito Arbatin, Diosdad Gulapa, Antonio Pasqua, Adolfo Tandok Sr., Numeriano Tandok Jr., and Antonio Alcantara. Uh, magandang hapon. Ako si Penal Institution Supervisor Antonio A. Alcantara. Nakatira dito rin sa Sablayan Prison and Penal Farm. Ako ngayon ay nakatalaga bilang officer in charge ng Pasugi Subprison. May, may labing tatlong custodial personnel, dalawang civilian personnel. Ang area po namin dito sa Pasugi ay almost 50 hectares. Ang, ang pumapaloob sa, sa Pasugi Subprison ng aming prison compound ay binubuo ng mahigit dalawa 2.1 hectares. Ang operasyon namin dito sa Pasugi ay tuloy namin ginagawa dahil itong Pasugi Operation ay nabuo noong taong 1957. Ito ay binuksan, nabuksan ito noong 1972, yung aming itong lugar na ito. Dati ito ay sa pag-aari ng hubungsan datahan ng Pilipinas sa mga army ang nagbukas ito. 
522 Engineering Battalion. Ang pasukin namin ay kinukompos ng Building 1, Building 2 and 3. Ang Building 1 ay ang nakatira doon ay mga nag-aaral ng therapeutic. Meron silang 32 na kliyente na pinamumunahan ng kanilang chief na si Mr. Ricardo Kasungkad. Reform programs about health and welfare, work and livelihood, sports and recreation, religious activities and education and behavioral modification has been the priority of Basugi Sub Farm. Ang effort po ng programa ay ma-rehabilitate yung mga drug dependents ng supply and prison and penal farm. Dito po ay nagkakaroon sila ng mga aktibidades kung saan nagkakaroon ng pagbabago sa kanilang mga pag-uugali. Sa aming morning meeting ay dito nakapaloob yung mga invocation, mga community concern, mga pull-up, at saka permission. Kung saan ay inaangat sila sa kanilang pagkakamali o pinupuna sa kanilang pagkakamali para hindi nila ulitin uli yung mga pagkakamali ngayon. Doon din yung mga nakagawa ng kabutihan ay pinapapurihan din sila ng kanilang kasamahan sa loob ng center. Meron din po kaming group games at mga uh, spiritual lectures, mga moral values na nag po kami ng mga NGOs, mga pastor na galing pa sa ibang lugar. Uh, sa therapeutic community po ay inihanda namin sila na sa kanilang paglaya ay ma kaya nilang harapin yung mga pagsubok sa labas sa malayang lipunan. Doon din, kaya lang humarap sa kanilang mga pamilya, sa kanilang kaibigan, at maging produktibo sila membro ng community. Livelihood programs in the farm include rice and corn farming and planting banana and gamote. Horticulture cattle and goat racing, piggery and handicrafts making are also parts of the livelihood program which help the morale of the prisoners and enable them to use their skills in a creative and productive way. Ang Pasugi si Prison, kaya lagi po itong pinupuntahan ng mga turista dahil meron din po kami dito sa nakakaakit na lugar, yung Kamarasan Falls at siyang pantingin para titingin sa kagubatan ng mga webbird watching, ng mga ibon na may pumupunta dito mga foreigner na kapaalam sa amin dito, titingnan nila ang kagandahan ng lugar. Bird watching is a highlight of visiting this place because anyone who comes will surely be amazed by the beauty of the different species of the birds. Here, the endangered species of bird called Mindoro Bleeding Heart flies freely in flocks. The San Isidro sub-prison was formerly known as San Isidro Vicente de Prospero sub-prison. The San Isidro Development Project spearheaded in securing the reservation and enhancing agricultural and fruit production. The inmates engage in tree planting activity which becomes a necessary routine and the ecological significance. This led to the development of the tourist attractions popularly known as the Stairway to Heaven and the Nara Forest, which both displayed the breathtakingly splendid beauty of nature. Uh, ako pa isang uh, officer in charge ng isang sub-prison, uh, San Isidro sub-prison kung saan doon lamang matagpuan ng uh, malawak na taniman ng, o nabubuhay ng mga Nara trees sa kabundukan ng Cebu. San Isidro sa prison. At dito rin natin matagpuan ng uh, stairway to heaven kung saan sa taas noon may is, uh, uh, mga uh, Birin Maria na ano, may statwa. At uh, doon rin natin makita ang mga karamihan ng mga bilanggo na mga nakategorize as minimum security prisoners kung saan uh, nagtatabaho sila sa mga taniman ng mga palay, mais at mga gulayan at iba pang pag-alaga ng mga hayop na saan kumikita sila na hatulong sa mga production ng uh, uh, Bureau of Prison through Sablayan Prison and Penal Farm. The Siburan Sub-Prison was established on December 8, 1991. 
It was under the supervision and management of 13 guards, including COG and one civilian employee farm foreman, who takes charge in supervising the inmates at field work. The security personnel include the keeper on duty, the escorting guards assigned to monitor the field work, and the escorting guards designated to escort the inmates to Central Sub Prison and General Hospital for medical treatment. The facilities offered by Siburan Sub Prison for security purposes are as follows Posts for keeper on duty, control gate posts. Post tower at the back of the compound. Ongoing project perimeter fence. CCTV camera for monitoring. And checkpoint along National Highway. This farm also offers tourism destination. The tourism activities include the following. The central sub-prison is where the dump falls, the hidden treasure of SPPF. Different kinds of wild animals like alligator, deer, and wild boar roam around the wilderness freely. The place is also surrounded by century-old big nata and evil trees that make the place cold and foggy. The streams offer fresh and cold water. The environment is moist everywhere and fresh air welcomes all the visitors coming to the place. We really feel the warmth and beauty of nature in this place. The original land area of Sablayan Pison in Penal Farm was uh, 16,000 and lately it was uh, uh, 7,000 was given to uh, Department of Agrarian Reform as uh, CARP beneficiaries. Now the Sablayan Pison Penal Farm has left uh, uh, 8,000 hectares intended for agricultural production. The central sub-prison is the center for agro-projects where we can find 10 hectares rice plantation, 10 hectares corn plantation, 10 hectares mango plantation, 5 hectares banana plantation, and 5 hectares horticulture projects. It is also in this place where we can find the different reformation programs for inmates. Livelihood, sports or recreation, religious activities, handicraft and health programs. Maraming mga binanggo na halos ayaw nang lumaya o sa kanilang paglaya halos ayaw na nilang umaris dito sapagkat uh, naayos na sila sa kagandahan ng kolonya o sa Brian Prison and Penal Farm. At uh, may mga kabuhayan sila dito na uh, katulad sa mahilig sa pagtanim sa lupa, nakatanim ng mga gulay at makalaga ng mga hayop na kung saan makakita sila, kumikita sila. Kasama na rin ang kanilang mga pamilya na pwede nilang uh, isama sa kanilang pamumuhay habang hinintay ang kanilang kalayaan. Kaya welcome po kayo to visit uh, Sablayan Prison and Penal Farm and you will see the beauty of nature. In this place. Thank you. The Sublime Prison and Penal Farm is not only a rehabilitation area but also a place where inmates are given the opportunity to develop their skills and enhance their capabilities to become righteous, useful, and productive citizens when they can go back to their communities and their families.